Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss one CSS property, direction. The direction property sets the direction of content flow within a block level element. And block level element applies to text, inline and inline block elements. It is also used to set the default alignment of text. Okay, so there are three possible values of this direction CSS property. The first one is default one. LTR that will set our text left to right. The second one is RTL right to left and third one is inherit that inherits its value from the parent element. Okay, so let's copy one text. So this is one website where I found the Arabic text. So that is right to left. Okay, and I'm copying this text and putting into our HTML. Let me add one div and Arabic, the class name and putting here. Okay. So now let's see. Okay. So now it is not up to the mark. So let me copy this margin left to here and color white. Okay. So now I don't know this language, but it is right now it is from left to right. Okay. So what we can do here, there is one inline element attribute, not element, it is attribute DIR and you can set RTL to DIR. So now you can see it is from right to left and you can also set LTR that is default value and that will be left to right. Okay. So we are not applying this attribute here and what we can do, we can apply direction RTL. Okay. And it will set our text from right to left. Okay. So on how this direction CSS property works, when you set RTL as a direction value, the text will start from right to left. Okay. So now you can see default value, the English text is from left to right. And this Arabic text is from right to left. Okay. So both the CSS property and the HTML attribute will cascade the direction to descendant elements. Okay. So uh, it is recommended to use the HTML attribute because uh, sometimes it will uh, work. It will fail to work in CSS as well. Okay. So it is recommended to use the inline attribute. Okay. And there is also a specific HTML tag that can be used for changing the direction of the text and that HTML attribute the name is BDO. Okay. And uh, the full form is bidirectional overhead element. Okay. So there is a semantics free element and it is used for only direction purpose. Okay, so it will work as as it is. Okay, right now class. Yeah, to select this, what we can do, we can apply. Uh, let me comment this. Okay, we can apply BDO, BIR, and the value value. Let's keep it RTL. Okay, and here what we can do, we can apply value like direction that is RTL and one more value is Unicode BD. Okay. That is Unicode, Unicode bidirectional. And here you can give value BD override. So now you can see, uh, let me just uh, change the direction. So now this text is from left to right but once you give the direction rtl you can see the direction is starting from left to right but it will be from right to left so direction will change not the place okay so uh, let me show you again let me comment it out and when once i comment you can see now this is the starting point okay and let me change so it will change the direction. So here only direction will get updated. So uh, 
let me check no we need to give the value the dir value to rtl okay and once we give you can see now the direction is changed okay let me comment it out so you can see so once you um, once you use this bdo html tag with direction it will use uh, the direction whatever you give so let me give ltr here so it will be start it will get start from left to right and if you want to override you can use direction to rtl and unicode bd and it should get overwritten yes it is not overridden because it is ltr it should be ltr because we are selecting this dir attribute now you can see okay let's let me explain again so now this video tag is having direction tag to l to ltr that is left to right okay and i want to override this using css so what i did i selected this video html tag with direction value to ltr and using direction rtl a unicode bd to bd override you can change its direction but you can notice here only direction will get updated not the place so um let me show you let me comment it out the video one and here if you change it to div and direction to rtl then it will change both the direction and the place so now it is starting from here okay so there is a difference between this html tag div or paragraph and this video which is uh, commonly used for direction tag only okay so this is a very uh, useful when you are using when you are creating multilingual website and you have uh, a text in arabic or there are few other languages like uh, uh, other language i yeah uh, hebrew is also starting from right to left so this is useful when you are working with a uh, multilingual website okay so i hope uh, you learned something new today and if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than uh, 200 videos uploaded let me show you my channel so you can go through my channel there are more than 200 videos uh, most of the videos are based on CSS, uh, JavaScript. Let me show you the playlist. So if you are just starting your career and preparing for the interview, there is one playlist which is created. Let me show you. Yeah, this is the playlist which I'm talking about. Uh, the name is JavaScript tutorials for beginners. Here you can find uh, very basic examples of JavaScript and uh, you will learn the basic JavaScript here. Okay, there is also one uh, useful playlist called How to Learn CSS Selectors. And in this playlist, I have created um, basic examples for CSS selectors. So I try to explain as much as simple, and I, I think there are almost all the selectors are covered in this specific playlist. So please visit my channel, and if you are just starting your career, this is a good uh, starting point and you can learn many uh, web development concepts and uh, very, uh, there are uh, videos on Node.js as well. Uh, you will learn uh, Node.js as well as uh, there are few videos on React.js as well. So I hope you, uh, you will love my videos and please subscribe to my channel and see you next time around. Bye.